Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you how to install and use the particle library from Blender Market. So once you've downloaded your zip file from Blender Market, all you want to do is open the main zip file and extract it into somewhere that you want to keep it. Once that's done, you can get rid of that zip file and then you have your main folder here and within that you have something called assets and then you've got the particle library. This is the actual add-on here and this is the assets that the add-on is going to use. So let's go over into Blender and to install this all you have to do is go over to edit, preferences, install, head over to where you extracted the file, there's the particle library and then double click on the particle library. As you can see it's come up here, just check this tick box, hit the little drop down and under here you'll see select the particle library folder. Click on this button here and again head on over to where your file is and then double click on assets. Once you've done that just hit accept. Save your preferences and now here we go, here is the particle library. So let's just do a quick overview of the actual add-on itself. Uh, it's basically a collection of animations with particles and also some of the animations actually have rigged and animated models to go along with them. So if we just hold shift, click on here and then do it again and click, click and drag, we can see all the animations that we've got here within the add-on. And each one has a thumbnail to represent which one does which. And there's also some text telling you what they are as well. So we've got heavy rain, light rain, chaotic, mosquito swarm, fire, plastic bags, sticky notes, and all that good stuff. So if we want to import one of these, all we have to do is click on here. In this case, we've picked Boyd's. Click here to pick the one you want within that category and then simply click the one you want and what you can do is you can preview the animation before you import it to see what you're getting. So let's choose something else, hit preview and I think I like that one so I'm going to go with that one. So you can just click import and there we go we have your animation imported straight into your project. So if we hit the spacebar you can see that's what we've got. We've got a swarm of birds flying away and they're all individually animated and you can see it looks very realistic. Also all the 3D models are shaded and textured as standard. So if we just hit play and pause it here you can see that all the birds are individually textured for realism. And this works in both Cycles and EV as well. So if we hit A and then delete, just to delete that, let's take a look at some more. So if we go over to 0G, these are some animations that don't have any objects paired to them. So what you'll find is a lot of these animations do have 3D models attached to them. But a lot of these ones are just the movement animations for you to attach your own objects to them for motion graphics, for special effects, for anything like that. So in this case, let's go on to 0G and go on Explode Outwards. Now, let's just hit Preview to see what we're getting. We've got this massive explosion that could be used in a space scene or something because it's in 0G. Let's hit Import and then hit Back and then the spacebar. Now because of the way Blender's particle system works sometimes you will get these odd artifacts in some of the animations. Now it's nothing to worry about to get rid of them all you have to do is basically change some sort of value on the animation just so it resets the cache. So if you just click on the emitter hit on this drop down menu here so if you just click on the emitter and then go over to here. So if you just click on the particle and then come over to this drop down here and just change any of these values just slightly 
and then hit back and it should as you can see it's got rid of the artifacts there now what you can do is you've got this motion here but you've got nothing attached to the particle so when you go to render it won't actually show anything so what we've done is we've included a load of objects that you can use to attach to these animations now a lot of them are animals to use with the boids but you can use them for anything so we've got an animated bee, a bird, fish, a fly, mosquito, a seagull and a spark. Now the spark one works really well for animations like this so if we just click that and then click import you might not see anything but just underneath you'll see that we've got the spark. Now if we just move that down away from the animation and click on our particle animation go down to the drop down and click render as object then what we can actually do is pick that spark by clicking this and then clicking your spark and as you can see we've now got objects attached to our animation so if we just click back and go into rendered view let's see what this looks like so as you can see it's actually showing up all the sparks. Now if we just turn off the environment here and make it dark you can see we've got something quite nice looking. So another category we've done that we think would be really useful for a lot of you guys is paper and bags. If we click on here we've got newspapers, newspapers 2, plastic bags, small paper, small paper 2 and sticky notes and these are things that you typically find as like trash or in like city streets or if you're doing city, scene, city scenes and stuff like that. So let's take a look at sticky notes. Let's preview that. And we've got this huge pile of sticky notes just sort of fluttering in the wind there. Let's go ahead and hit import. Click back. And as you can see, this is what we've got. Let's hit play. That's pretty cool. Now you'll notice that a lot of the animations they have this empty at the top with an arrow facing in the direction that the animation is going. This is an empty that's connected to everything to do with this animation so if you wanted to drop this entire thing into your scene and you find that this is blowing the wrong way you can actually position this wherever you want by clicking this empty handle. G to move, R to rotate and stuff like that and you can see that everything rotates with it. And if you play the animation in the direction that you've chose, that's the way that the animation will go. It updates automatically. And again, a lot of these are shaded or textured for realism. So if we go on the newspapers and just take a quick look at the animation. The reason it's playing a bit, it's a bit slow is just because it's having to load in the cache. So if we go back, it should play a little bit faster now. Let's go into rendered view. Let's add a light, make this just a little bit brighter, you can see that we've actually got some real newspapers here, just to add some realism to that. So you could drop this in like an alleyway or in a city street or pretty much anything just to add that little extra layer of realism to your scene. And of course, all of these animations are customizable. You can change things such as the direction, of course, like I just said. But also, if you click on here and go to this button here, you can actually change uh, the strength of the wind or the direction of the wind, the rotation, the turbulence here. So you can change the strength and all that good stuff. And lastly, with most of the animations that you import into your scene, you've always got this little drop down menu here to change some of the uh, critical looks of the animation such as the scale here, the scale randomness and then you can also choose uh, to render as one of our pre-made objects uh, which are here or your own object by going render as object and then just choosing whatever object is in your scene that you'd, that you'd like to use as the particle uh, on the animation.
So I really hope that helps and we are going to be adding more animations and more 3D objects to this add-on as time goes on and if you want to leave any suggestions feel free to DM me on Blender Market just to add any uh, suggestions. So yeah, hope that's everything and we'll see you soon.